Welcome back guys. We've uh, just managed to start a war with the Germans. It took a little bit longer than I was hoping. But I didn't have to pay anybody off which is good. Um, during this time I have unlocked uh, quite a significant amount of technology. Although I think the Germans and the French are still more advanced than me. British seem like they're about on par. So, uh, yeah. Before I actually start doing some wars, I might check out some of this technology. So, first things first, let's have a look at the new designs. Okay, we've got an experimental 2 now, it's got worse stability, worse resistance, a little bit more tonnage and hull form. be interesting to see So, ten thousand five hundred and fifty, practically ten thousand five hundred and fifty. Nine thousand six hundred. So about 900 tons more. Well, we can uh, we can build one. See what it comes out like. I'll set the speed to uh, minimum first before I do anything else. Right then. Have I got another barbette yet? Still not another barbette, that's annoying. That is annoying. Still only at... Ah, we've got Mark 3 12 inch now. That's brilliant. We can have four of them as well, so... One, two, and then three, four, but one of them won't be on a barbette. It's going to need significant shifting of stuff to be able to fit them two at the back. Let's just quickly put some armour on.
Right then. Right, let's mess about with these things first. Probably can get away with reduced still. Cordite is uh, very dangerous to use. Ah, we've got Dunite, but we can still use the previous charges. That's good. Right then. Right, that's pretty much spot on. Um, let me have a think. What am I going to do for casemates? Don't really care about adding them. Not, not really. <laughs> Okay, so for these side ones, Mark 3, 4 inches, uh, the only Mark 3 one I've got. Let me just have a look at the accuracy 28, 29. Strange how that's got more accuracy at short range but not at long range drive. So I'm going to stick to the 8 inches. So still, I'm going to keep this thing slow with a big armament um, because my uh, destroyers are going to continue to do the majority of the work. Okay, that's put the full weight offset quite significantly which is a bit annoying you can actually balance things with the armor nowadays you never used to be able to but so that's good um
So we could put a row of point defense on if we wanted. But let's move all these back again. I know it's annoying, but it's necessary. Should have put them casemates on first. Hindsight. Now we can move this just slightly, and there we go. Let's have a look at the weight. It is ridiculous still, so stick to the single turret. Right then, so this is probably going to be able to shoot to about there, so I reckon approximately there is where I want it. So let's just remove that one and check. Looks spot on to me. Interesting. Have I got something? No. Yeah, it is about right. Right now, this is going to about here, so I think I can fit one more in. Might just set it back a bit. Yep, yeah, that looks spot on. Maybe move this. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, now I can either add a citadel, put some more armor on, or put the speed up a bit. I can see what difference these make now, I think. That's actually giving me more weight, a reduced beam. It's interesting. Put the speed up. Oh yeah, we can get a nice amount of speed on here. Okay, so the jump is around about 24.5, I think. Uh, 23.5 I meant, sorry. Okay. And then, let's see what this changes now. So we've got 400 to spend. Now we've only got 250 to spend. Four 
hundred, so it's actually better to have it at large beam. What does it adjust the cost? About four million. Let's have a look at the accuracy. So at fifteen kilometers, it's one point eight, and then three above one point one. Three, one point eight, one point one. Three point four to one point two. So 0.4 extra at twelve and a half kilometers. It's not too bad. So that's now three four two and one two. So let's reduce this. Right, so it doesn't make a huge difference, but it does make a little bit of a difference. That is incredibly annoying how it's changed all of them to not be able to be placed, so I'm only going to drop it to, so I don't need to move everything. 9.8, so that's spot on now. Is everything hovering? Seems okay. Okay, so we've only got 50% engine efficiency, but that should be fine. I think that's pretty much perfect. So I'll just have to put up with the point 0.4. Might be able to change it just by increasing one of these. Nope. What about this one? We got it down by point 0.1. Right, that looks good enough to me. Just double check that I haven't missed anything. Right, so that's our new battleship. Now we can do a power projection version but I am going to exit the ship designer first in case I lose it. And I am going to build one of them just to lock it in.
Okay, let's see what we come up with with the power projection version. So we're going to want maximum range, minimum speed. Um, do we need that? Yeah, we do. Uh, minimum beam. Maximum draft. Good. I don't need to change anything. That's good. Uh, quarters. I can leave that as it is. Right, I don't need any of this stuff. Although I don't mind the engine. Look how much it weighs. Not that much. Come on. I don't need any of this. Reduce that. Um, let me have a think. So I can either strip a bit of armor off. I only need 200 tons, 160 tons. Or I can, well, both of them is too much anyway, so. May as well just strip some armor off. Perfect. Okay. That's our new power projection ship. Lovely. Okay, let's exit and build one. So because these ships, these new power projection ships are creating an absolute shit ton of power projection, I only really need about 10 or 15 of them. Um, but I'm not going to build stuff quite yet, because um, I'm in a war obviously. What I'm going to do is build so I've got all my crew uh, used up and then scrap all of the ships that I've got now when I'm not in a war and rebuild all of the crew into the new ships so I'm not ending up with a ridiculous amount of uh, extra crew so before I do that I'm going to redesign these other ships. I have actually got... It says I've got a new destroyer hull. Oh, it's also said that some of my torpedo boats are now out of date, so that means I won't be able to refit them. Which is an issue. I might just scrap them. Yeah, it's not giving me the new destroyer design. I have seen other people complain about that with the Austro-Hungarians, but I'm not too fussed. This one should be fine. So I've still got the large torpedo boats, but I haven't got the others. So I wonder which one the large torpedo boat is. I think it's... Oh, it's the destroyer, obviously. All the others are classed as torpedo boats. This is the only one that's a destroyer. So I can either fight with the torpedo boats 
lose a load of them, obviously. <laughs> or scrap them. Could do some kamikaze runs with them for a bit of fun. I'm not going to be able to um, redesign them anymore. I don't think. Interesting. It looks like it might be letting me. Let's have a look. It looks like it might be letting me. Things are obviously not able to be placed anymore because of updated things. This is only 200 set. This is my very first torpedo boat design. That's ace. Can't believe I've still got some of these. Um, so let's take out one of the guns. Um, I think I only need to move this. Yeah, this can now shoot again. Uh, I have got a new torpedo. Well, I've got two new torpedo sizes. Right, okay. Um, are any of these lighter? The shell weight, minus 10. So that's actually the lightest shell weight. There's nothing there about weight, is there? Shell weight, minus 10. Nice. Very nice. Some parts are badly placed. Well, unfortunately, looks like I'm going to be stuck. Might be able to move these forward one. I don't think so, though. No. So it means I'm going to be stuck at um, whatever it was before. 5.4, but I don't think that's a big deal. I think I can refit these. Anyway, I've never actually tried it when they're out of date. So let's try it. Well, it still works. I'm amazed. I've actually got quite a few of them. Look at that. Can't believe they've survived so long. Right, well, I may as well redesign the, uh, the other ones.
Right, let's put the top size up first. Uh, we've got a weight reduction with the TNT. I don't know if we're going to need it, but let's put it on. And then if we want, we can change this. Let's change it now and then we can put it back up again if we so desire. Right then. So, are we going to be able to move these? We are. Interesting. So that might fix the problem there. I think I can. No, I can't have these side by side. So I still haven't unlocked the triple deck launcher quite yet, which is annoying. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to fit in another one, which is annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. What, what shall I do here? Take that off, maybe. Add another one of these. I'm going to end up with far too much weight left over. Damn it, can't get a bar bit. Uh, I might not bother refitting this. Oh, I suppose two inches bigger torpedoes is actually pretty decent. to do about the uh, leftover weight. Nothing really. Um, let's see what happens. Oh. That's a really old one that's now so if I change it, I won't be able to change back to it. Right, okay. Looks like I've just got loads of weight left over. Nothing I can do about it. I don't think this is going to make any difference. It's just going to make it harder to turn. But it'll give me a little bit of resistance. It'll make it harder to turn, so... No, I'll just put up with the extra weight. So I've reduced the guns. I've got half the amount of guns from 2 to 1. But I've got 2 inches larger torpedo tubes. And obviously its primary role is to torpedo things. So I think that's a perfectly acceptable refit.
Alright. Definitely gonna need to take out one of them. That's almost perfect. So if I take out another one. And then move these forward. Might have to just move. Because I'm going to end up with a huge aft weight offset I reckon. Alright let's take them out. Start with the doubles. Hmm. Why can't... <laughs> okay, so if I increase... the size, I now can't fit it on. I wonder if changing the beam will... Yeah, it will. Lovely. Okay, there it is. So I only need to increase it by a tiny bit. Right, so I just need to move them one. But that is going to make a big difference, so I might need to separate these. Let's see what happens if I do move it one. Right then. We're actually looking pretty good. That just changed. Oh no, that it wasn't that that changed it. Right, okay. Wonder what about changing this? I won't be able to change it back again, so. It's pretty damn perfect. It's put the cost up quite a lot doing that, so 200k. It's quite significant. They weigh 1.2 tons. But then when I put it down, it puts like 
seven tons on. <laughs> oh, the ammo weight is five tons. Jesus Christ, how does the ammo weigh so much more than the gun? Right, if I did do that. Yeah, an, an extra gun. That's, uh, that's pretty good. So I've got a 1.3 weight offset, but... Lovely. Nice design. Okay, so I've got these destroyers that I can... Ah, this is the final one to refit now, because I haven't got a new hull ever. So once I've refitted this, that'll be all of the ships ready to go. Obviously it would have been a good idea to do this before I started the war, but I didn't know how long it was going to take. Right then. Those things first. Torpedoes. Looks like I haven't put any acoustics on this. some weight left over. If I do that, that's almost spot on. Actually got quite a bit of weight if I do that. I can also change the steam engine. Right then. Uh, I'm going to be moving, hmm, yeah, it's going to be far too much. Can't put a gun there. So that doesn't weigh as much as the torpedo tube, so I might put that at the back. I've obviously got loads of uh, weight now, I've taken that gun off. Hmm. It's a pain in the arse with this. Uh, uh, funnel. Right, 
dry. I highly doubt I'll be able to do this, but... Oh, it's, it's close. It's definitely close. I don't believe it. I actually managed to fit it on. That's perfect. 1% weight. That is absolutely spot on. Right then, I can now spend a little bit of uh, weight extra. Spot on. Lovely. So it's got three guns and four, five, six, six double torpedo tubes. I'm more than happy with that. Okay, 17,000 crew, these new ships, so that's um, practically 2.6, and we're going to take 18 months, so 18 times uh, 260. So 20 times 260 is uh, 520, so 5,200, take away 260, take away 520, so is 4,700 on top of that. So that is 21,700, take away 3,000. 18,700 I've got. So I might just build the power projection ships for now. 18,700. Um, so if I build 10 that's 13,000. Which leaves me 5,700. So I can build 14. And then that will be all of the power projection ships that I need. I can then delete the other ones once these are built. Perfect. Monthly balance is still reasonable. Okay, so these are now the power projection ships who are not really designed for combat. I can bring the power projection ships home and leave the torpedo boats there to do a bit of uh, kamikaze attacks. I think I might do that. I'm just going to bring the torpedo boats closer. And then the majority of 
these ships are uh, refitting. Oh, I haven't refit the, uh, the, the actual battleships, have I? I've just built the new ones. Well, I'm going to be uh, scrapping them, so I can't be bothered to refit them. I may as well rock around with some battleships for a while. They'll, they'll be without torpedo boat protection, but... Sure, they'll live, and if they don't, who cares? Right now, has he got a gigantic fleet somewhere? There might send all my ships. To the same place to try and take on that gigantic fleet. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've managed to get some of my battleships in with the uh, torpedo boats, but not... Oh, these are the power projection ones. As they're returning home. Oh well. Let's see how they get on. Right, I think I'm going to call the episode there guys so we'll start off with this big battle in the uh, next episode so thanks for watching take care i'll see you in the next one